The second part of the orientation will cover the process for registering for my math lab and the courseware that we're going to get into. So you can click on mymathlab.com. Uh, you would also need this course ID, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Click on my math lab. And the very first time you do this, you're going to register as a student. And when you click on that link, the first thing it's going to ask for is the course ID. So the course ID is LAPUZ87866. And when you hit continue, you'll see the course here on the right side. That's the number 1.math200 spring 2012. If you have a Pearson account already, then you would click on this username and password and you would sign in. If you don't, then you would create one and it'll ask you for a valid email, your username and your password, your first name and your last name, and some other logistical prompts. Okay, so say we're going to get that fixed up. Uh, once you pass either one of those uh, pages, it's going to get you to this page where it's going to ask you to register. Now, if you've never had this class before, I've never used this book before online, then you'll have to either buy an access code from the bookstore. So you would click on access code, and then it's going to ask you to input the access code from that a uh, little booklet that you would have gotten from the bookstore that you would have purchased. I think if you buy it at the bookstore it'd be between seventy five to eighty dollars a little bit less than how much it would cost if you bought it online and if you also want the option with a book you can get the book shrink wrapped with this code with the access code and uh, that would be cheaper than buying the code and the book separately if you wish to purchase this online, it would be $82 with a major credit card or if you have a PayPal account. And if you're not ready to purchase it with uh, an access code from the bookstore or buying it online, you can get the temporary access code without payment for 17 days, in which case you would just OK this and then you will be enrolled online. Uh, if you have any problems registering, you can go back to this main page and click on either Getting Started or Tours to give you some idea of how to register.